smart candy or rich candy? Because my family is poor, I'll just choose the rich candy. Whoa, is my balance really unlimited? That means I'm rich, finally! Bye mom, I'm going to school. Sorry honey, but you can't go to school anymore. And why is that? Because I can't afford to pay your school fees. But mom, I need to go to school. Who knows? Maybe our destiny will change. I'm sorry, honey, but you just can't go anymore. I can't afford it. Mom, calm down. I have a solution. Try checking your bank account. Someone just sent me a hundred million. Was that you? Thank you so much. You're welcome. I have to go now. Bye. Look, the poor girl's here. Her clothes are so dirty. Yeah, and imagine how dirty her house is. She lives in a hut. Do you guys have a problem with me or something? Ew, you're poor. Don't get close to me. Huh? Poor? You don't know how much I have in my bank account. Yeah, probably one pound. <laughs> Children, please gather in the hall. What's the matter, sir? We're going to be checking your balance. If you have under a thousand pounds, you get kicked out. Why is that? That's not fair. You're just scared because your balance is under a thousand pounds. You don't know how much I have in my bank account, so you better keep your mouth shut. Hey, you two, stop. Get to the hall now. Let's make a challenge. If I have more money than you, you have to be my slave for a whole month. Okay, I'll accept your challenge. If I win, you'll do whatever I say for the whole month. Oh, trust me, you're not going to win this challenge. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, sir. Oh, I can't wait to see you lose. We'll see. Okay, give me your phone so I can check your balance. Let me check your balance. Whoa, it looks like your balance is very high. You can stay in the school. Thanks, sir. Amanda, it's your turn. The total of your balance is under a thousand pounds. You'll be removed from the school tomorrow. What? That's not fair. I have a lot of money. I promise. Based on our examination, we'll be kicking five people out of the school as their balance is under a thousand pounds. We'll call their parents to let them know. I can't believe you lied about your balance, Amanda. I was only friends with you because you were rich. I didn't lie. I promise. My parents are rich. Yeah, right. Anyway, you'll be out of the school tomorrow, so I'll never have to see your lying face again. Please help my child so that she doesn't get kicked out of here. I'll pay you back, I promise. Yes, Amara, please help me, please. Excuse me, miss. I'd like to pay for Amanda's school fees. Whoa, are you serious, Amara? You're so nice. Yeah, she's a lifesaver. Thank you very much. Anytime. I also want to pay for the remaining four students. Please don't kick them out. You're so nice. Okay, I'll call the parents now to let them know that they can stay in the school. Hey, Amara, um, thank you so much for helping me out. That's okay, but please promise me never to judge anyone based on how much money they have, because at the end of the day, money doesn't mean anything. Okay, I promise, and I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. How do we prove it? Hey, I have this makeup removing tissue for you. Anyone who doesn't have a sign after trying to remove the mark off the face is a fake. Okay, I'll remove it now. See? It's still there! Mine's still there too! This is weird. We'll prove it again later. Yeah, and everyone's gonna know that my mark is real. Alright, we'll see when we prove it. I still don't believe you. You colored it in with a permanent marker, right? Uh, what the hell? There's no such thing as permanent markers. Just watch out! How is it possible that her mark didn't disappear? Hey, I have cotton and water. This will remove everything, even permanent markers. Okay. See? My color's still there. So is mine. What? I swear, I don't understand anymore. How can her sign not disappear? I told you I'm the original red mark. Okay, we're gonna have to find another way to prove it. Amara pretends to be queen when everyone knows that her sister deserves it more. Yes, I agree. She's not suitable for the role. Are you Amara? Yeah, why do you care? I just want to say something. Do you know why your sister's mark won't disappear? Why? The mark she has is no ordinary mark. Huh? Do you know why your sister's mark won't disappear? Why? The mark she has is no ordinary mark. Huh? What mark is it? It's a magical mark that can't be erased easily. I'm only here to find out who the real queen is. Okay, what should I do now? Hey, give her this drink. When she drinks this, her mark will disappear. Hey sis, are you ready to be embarrassed in front of everyone because your mark is fake? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Everyone knows I'm more suitable to be queen. Anyways, see you later. 
Anyone have any proof suggestions today? I do. So we have to drink this. Whoever's mark disappears is a faker. Okay, I agree. Let's start now. Okay, so because this is my drink, you'll go first, sis. Okay, I'll drink it now. Done. It's your turn now. Okay. My mark's still here. We have to wait one minute for it to work. So, how long does it take for the drink to work on her? For the drink to work, you have to wait one minute. Okay, got it. Thank you. Well, as I predicted, her mark is gone, meaning I was right all along. She faked it. Whoa, that's bad. So you're the fake one? Amara was right. No, she's lying. Please, forgive us, Queen, for doubting you. You're a liar. I'll prove it. Hey, sis, because you lied about your mark, you're going to be my assistant for a whole year and do whatever I say. Intelligence potion or rich potion? I'll choose intelligence. I know everyone will pick this one. Bye, mom. I'm going to school. I don't even know why I'm paying for your school. You're just dumb. I'm literally throwing my money away. It must suck to be stupid and poor, right? Yeah. This one has a complete package of bad things. Class, we have a test today. Amara, are you prepared to get the lowest grade again? <laughs> Let's see. You have five minutes left. I'm done. Here, sir. I'm sure my grade will be the highest. Congrats, Amara. You've got the highest grade. You've improved a lot. Seriously, sir? Yes. Congratulations. That's impossible. She cheated. I was watching the whole time. There's no way she cheated. Then let's do another test to see if she gets high grades again. Okay. Tomorrow we'll do another test. Let's make a deal. If I get the highest grade, you'll leave the school. And if you get the highest grade, I'll leave. Okay, that sounds like a good deal. Look, she thinks she can beat Sophia. Poor thing, she has no chance. Here's your test. You have one hour. A whole hour? It will be a piece of cake for me. Sir, I'm done. Me too, sir. I know I'm going to win. Don't be so convinced. I need to check first. So, sir, who got the highest grade? Okay, so the student with the highest grade is... It will rain every time I sleep or every time I eat. Sleep, of course, because usually it's good to sleep while it rains. Mom, can you take me to school? I can't take you because I have work to do. <gasps> but I'm going to be late. That's not my problem. This is the right time to try out my strength. Wait, what? How comes it's suddenly raining so much? Okay, fine. I'll take you to school. Hey, Emily. Why do you look so sad? Jake, he's dating Stephanie. And what's wrong with that? We were childhood friends. I thought one day me and him... <sighs> Come on, stop crying. You should never cry for a boy. I'm not going to maths class later. <sighs> yeah, as always, you skip maths to go play basketball. No, this time I have permission. I'm going to Germany for a basketball game. Just pray it doesn't rain. Don't worry, it won't rain. I'm not sleepy. What do you mean, babe? Um, nothing. Have a safe flight. <gasps> Why do I feel so sleepy? Why is it raining? Amara, wake up! What's wrong? You scared me. How come the rain stopped immediately? Try sleeping again. Gosh, you can control the rain. Yes, it rains every time I sleep. Whoa, so cool. Have you done the homework? Huh? What homework? Sir said anyone who hasn't done the homework is getting a detention. I'll just sleep. Sir called the principal and said he's not coming in for the next lesson because it's raining. But what about the homework? I know you slept so that sir wouldn't check our homework. Yeah, so what? I know your boyfriend would be really angry with you because you made it rain. Oh yeah, I forgot he had a flight to Germany today. Honey, remember, Justin has a flight today. Don't sleep so it doesn't rain. Wait, what did mom just say? So, sir, who got the highest grade? The student with the highest grade is... No one. Both of your scores are the same. Huh? Try check again, sir. I've checked. They're both the same. Okay, sir, how about we have a rematch? Yes, I agree. We'll be testing you both again tomorrow. Okay, deal. Look, I'll pay you £3,000 if you help me get all the answers right for tomorrow's test. Please make sure I get the highest grade. Yeah, of course, but you're going to have to pay me half the amount now. Alright, fine. Hurry up before anyone sees us. 
Oh, so this is why you got a high grade. It all makes sense now. You're cheating. Whatever. You don't have any proof. It's my word against yours. Don't worry. I'll get proof soon. Just watch out. What do you mean you can't get the answers by tomorrow? I gave you the money. I'm not giving you any answers before you give me the rest of the money. Now. That wasn't our deal. You make sure I get the highest grade and then I'll give you the money. Well, change of plans. Here, just take the stupid money. Well, I guess I have the evidence now. I just need to show it to Sir tomorrow. Are you ready to lose? Everyone's going to make fun of you. We'll see about that. Okay, guys, you have two hours to complete this exam. Sir, she's cheating. I have evidence. She's paying someone to make sure she wins. Where's the evidence? I have the video right here. Is this a joke? It's a video of a dancing monkey. What? But how? You! Me? I didn't do anything. See? She's just jealous of me because I got the highest grade. No, you didn't! Stop it, both of you. Sir, I'm done with my exam. Who is she? While you two spent your time arguing, Alex already finished her exam. Alex, I paid you to make sure I win. You just went and done the exam for yourself? So Amara was right. You did pay someone. I'll deal with you later. Let me check Alex's score. I'll be right back. Guys, it turns out Alex scored 100 out of 100. What? Sorry, guys. I guess we all know who the smartest kid in school is now. Bye. <sighs> What did mom just say? Amara, wake up! <sighs> I didn't even sleep. Yes, you've been sleeping for five hours. I've been trying to wake you, but you didn't wake up. Five hours? How about Justin's flight to Germany? I don't know, but hopefully he'll arrive safely to his destination. Amara, I got news about Justin. His flight got cancelled and postponed until tomorrow. <sighs> Thank God he's safe. This time you have to watch out. You can't sleep. This is all your fault. My flight got postponed because of you. I'm sorry. I forgot you had a flight. If you sleep again today, I'm breaking up with you. Don't. I still love you. Do you promise not to fall asleep until I get to Germany? I promise. It's already midnight. It's time for you to go to sleep, honey. No, I don't want to sleep until Justin gets to his destination. He hasn't left yet, so it's okay if it rains. No, today I'm not sleeping at all. Okay, up to you, but don't say I didn't tell you. Hey, guys. Oh my gosh, Amara, you look really tired. Didn't you sleep tonight? No, I can't sleep yet. Class, we're going to be taking an exam. <sighs> exam? <sighs> I can't. Amara, what are you doing? It's starting to rain. Don't sleep. I'm really sleepy. I don't think I can do this exam. Don't worry. I'll help you. You look tired. How long until your flight? I'm going to the airport now. My flight is in one hour. Don't sleep. Yeah, okay? don't worry. I won't put you in danger. Okay, I trust you. I need to go now. Bye. Mom, I'm home. Remember, honey, don't sleep. I'll make you a coffee. Maybe it will help. Yeah, make it extra strong. My eyes are burning. Let me just close them for a moment. Why is there a storm outside? Amara, wake up! I hope I get a good magic power. Move things? That's not even a power. It's normal to move things. I don't want it. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, honey. Make sure you're ready for magic school. Yes, Mom. Did you choose your magic power? Not yet. What? Why? How are you going to magic school with no magic powers? That's so dumb. Relax. I'm just waiting to get a good magic power. I don't want to get a lame one like the rest of my friends. <sighs> Ouch. Look what my powers can do. <sighs> okay, okay. Stop. You're hurting me. I can hurt you without even touching you. <sighs> That's a lame magic power. What's your magic power? I don't have any magic power. Then who are you to make fun of me if you don't have one yourself? I'm going to tell everyone that you don't have a magic power. No, don't! Hey, you don't have a magic power, right? No, I don't have one yet. I hope I get a good magic power this time. It has to be better than my friends so they don't bully me again. Fly? Just fly? No, that's boring. I'll decline. Honey, you refused your magic power again? Because they gave me flying as an option. It's so boring. You can't keep rejecting. Just accept one already. No, I'm waiting for a good one to appear. 
Look, it's the girl with no magic powers. You do know if you keep rejecting, you might not even get one at all. I'm just waiting for the perfect one to appear. You're useless. Let's go, guys. I'll give you time until tomorrow. If you don't have a magic power, you're leaving the school. But, sir, my magic powers are still loading. I don't know when they'll give me a next one. I don't care. You have 24 hours. Yes, it's loading. Okay, this time I'm going to have to accept it. Otherwise, I'll get kicked out of the school. Please give me a good magic power. I can see my dad's salary. I don't even expect it to be a lot. He doesn't even leave the house to work. <gasps> so all this time my dad's rich? Dad! What do you want? You get one million per month? Why didn't you tell anyone? I didn't tell you because I don't want you to be spoiled. Who says anything about being spoiled? Every day at school, I'm hungry for a snack, but I never have any money to buy it. Okay, starting from today, I'll give you a thousand pounds a day. Okay, I have to keep your salary on private. Why are you keeping it private? Because I don't want my friends at school to like me just for money. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to school now. Bye. Hi, Amara. Hey! Why is your dad's salary private? Because I want to keep it private. Is there a problem with that? You put it on private because your dad's salary is poor, right? We can't be friends in that case. Bye. What? Alright, it's your loss anyway. Okay, Klaus, we're going to be going on a trip to the zoo. Everyone follow me except Amara. Why, sir? Because you're poor. You won't be able to afford the visit. But, sir, I can pay for it. How are you going to pay? You're poor. You know what? What? They said the one whose father's salary is the highest will be the president of the student union. Who said that? I heard the teacher speaking about it earlier. I think Jessica's going to win because her father's salary is the highest. Attention, everyone. I will now announce the new president of the student union. Wait, you're announcing it now? Yes, the new president is Jessica. Her father's salary is 150000 150000 a month? Are you making fun of that salary? Get out of my way. Who dared to slap you like that? Some girl in class. Okay, from tomorrow you're putting my salary on public. I don't accept anyone slapping you. Look who's at school. I thought she'd be scared to come back. Yes, Jessica, she should be afraid of you. Me? Afraid of her? <sighs> Never. But if you really want to know, this is the last time I'm here. But before I leave, I want to show you something. How did you do that? Because I'm the one who controls the system. What? So, all this time it was you? Yes, but sometimes the system lags. Hopefully there will be no error again. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you as well. Finally, I can put my dad's salary on public. That means I can become president today. Hey, Amara. Where's Jessica? I hope she changed the stupid rule she made up. No, she hasn't. Everyone's gathered in the hall. She's making sure everyone whose dad's salary is under 5,000 gets kicked out. We need to go there, now. In accordance with the new rules I've made, starting from today, anyone whose father's salary is under 5,000 needs to leave the school immediately. I don't agree. Amara, you again. You can't stop me. I'm the president of the student council. Sir, I want you to replace me with Jessica as the new president of the student council. And why should I do that? Because my dad's salary is higher than hers. Do you have any proof? Yes, in fact, I'll show you now. What? How is this possible? Well, it's clear Amara's dad's salary is higher than Jessica's. So she will be the new president starting today. What? Sir, you can't do that. And according to what I said yesterday, I'm kicking you out of the school. Since you're the new president, do you want to make any new rules? Yes, I want to change the money rule. Anyone should be able to study at the school, no matter how much money they have. Congrats on being the new president. Thank you. I'm going to the canteen. I'll tell them you'll pay for my food later since you have so much money. Bye. Hey, wait. Please give me the red sign. Huh? Red? That means I'm the queen. Mom, look, I got the red mark. Mom, I got the red mark. Wow, that's great, honey. I trust you more than your sister. What? There are two red marks, right? That means there's two queens. But if there's two queens, then... Nope, no, I don't want to imagine it. I got a blue mark. I got red. What? You got red? Same as your sister? Are you sure you didn't fake it? Confess. What the heck is wrong with you, Jenny? Hey, sis. I know you faked your mark. You colored it in yourself. What? No, I got red. You're the one who faked it. It's time for you to tell the truth. Okay, keep lying. But soon, I'll find out the truth myself. 
Amara, admit it. Did you color it in yourself? What is wrong with you people? You don't believe me? I have the real red mark. If that's true, come with me. We have to prove that your sign is real. Let's do it. Love Apple or hate Apple? Mom, what does this mean? You can see how much people love you or hate you. Then I choose the hate Apple so I know who hates me. Hey, I have an exam later. Can I use your answers to cheat? Yeah, of course. Thanks, Amara. Wait, you hate me? How does that have to do with anything? <sighs> Even though I consider you my friend, I'm not going to help you. This is why I hate you. You're so greedy. You never help anyone but yourself. She's so annoying. She became second best in class because of me and she's so ungrateful. Babe, why so angry early in the morning? <sighs> hey, babe. Come, let's go to the canteen together. We've been dating for years and you secretly hate me? Why? Because of your face. You look like my ex. I look like your ex. If that's what you thought from the start, then why did you ask me to be your girlfriend? You ate the hate apple, didn't you? What? Well, how do you know? I know everything. Basically, if people's hatred level lows for a long time, it means they really hate you. You have to be careful around that person. Why do people around me hate me so much anyway? I don't hate you. If you ever have a problem, you can talk to me, okay? You don't seem to hate me. Because I love you. I want you to be my second wife. Second wife? Yes, do you want to be? Uh, I have to go, sir. My stomach hurts. Hey, loser. <sighs> you again. Why do you keep bullying me? Because it's fun. You don't hate me? Yes, I do. Why are you asking that? <sighs> no, you can't lie to me. You don't hate me, do you? Well, to be honest, all this time I pretended to bully you. I just wanted to get your attention because I really like you. Do you want to be my uh, girlfriend? Thanks for liking me, but I can't date. My mom doesn't let me. I have to go. Bye. Amara, you know there's a really handsome student that joined us from America. From America? What's he doing here? He said he ran away from his family because they were fighting a lot. I feel sorry for him. Me too. Where's the new kid? Just a suggestion. Don't get close with the new kid. Why? We have to be nice to our new friend. You didn't know he's a mafia boss in America. Wait, really? Yes, that's why I'm telling you not to get close. Hello, everyone. I'm the new student. Who wants to sit with your new classmate? I do. Okay, go sit next to her. Hi, nice to meet you. Your name is Amara, right? Wait, how comes he knows my name? We just met. Big pill or small pill? I'll take the big pill because it matches my clothes. Hey, honey, did you take your pill? Yeah, I chose the big pill. You chose? You got a choice? I thought everyone got small pills. No, I got to choose between a big pill and a small pill. You need to leave my house right now. What? Why? Whoever takes the big pill gets bigger in size. I can't be seen with you. Get out of my house now. Don't worry, I'm leaving. Amara, did you know there's only two hours left before the size of the earth gets smaller? Huh? Yeah, that's why we all got the small pill. Didn't you eat the small pill? Um, yeah, I ate the small pill. That's great. So, whoever eats the big pill gets bigger and whoever eats the small pill gets smaller? If that's true, why hasn't my size changed? I'm exactly the same size. Hey, bestie, you've eaten the small pill, right? Yes. Okay, don't forget to sleep because the pill only works when you sleep. We need to be small before the earth shrinks. Yeah, um, I'll sleep later. Okay, that's fine. I just won't sleep. That way, I'll stay the same size and no one will find out I ate the big pill. Hey, can I ask you something? Yes, of course. You say people automatically get the small pill, but um, what happens to the people who get the big pill? There's no way they could get the big pill. No way? Why? Because it's impossible, unless you're the chosen one. The chosen one? Yeah, why are you asking so many questions anyway? Didn't you get the small pill? Yeah, of course. What am I going to do? It's your turn to sleep, Amara. Hey. Me, sir? Are there any other Amaras here? Hurry up and sleep. Okay, sir. I'll sleep now. I'll just pretend to sleep. Amara, I know you're not sleeping. What are you actually doing anyway? Um, sir, may I go to the toilet? I don't think I can sleep because I have a stomach ache. Okay, don't be long because soon the earth will shrink and you'll have to become smaller before that happens. I understand. Good thing I still have the small pill. I can just eat and become small like my other friends. Wait, where is it? It was just in my pocket. Amara, you're taking too long in the toilet. The earth is shrinking in one minute. One second, my stomach still hurts. Okay, because I'm a good friend, I'll wait for you while sleeping outside the toilet. What? Time's up? Have they become small yet? How come it's so quiet? It was so crowded a minute ago. What was that?
An upside down crown. Do you know what it means? <gasps> An upside down crown. That means you're the king's huh? greatest enemy. How comes your answer is exactly like my mother's? That means she wasn't lying. You don't trust your own mother? I mean, only sometimes, because usually my family gives me money and she says she's going to hold it for me, but she uses it on school fees. Do you even know anything about symbols? I used to read in my grandpa's history book. He said everyone that got the upside down crown must take the king's throne. <sighs> what? Steal the king's throne? Are you crazy? Don't make things up, Aiden. It's really bad. And if in three days you don't take the king's crown, you're going to die. That's what's written in the book. I'm going to die in three days? No, I don't believe you. I need proof. Where's the proof? You want proof? Come with me tonight. We're going to the grave. To the grave at night? Are you insane? We're going to find my grandpa's history book. I hid it in the grave. Why are we walking towards the palace anyways? When are we going to your grandpa's grave? My grandpa's buried at the palace. Buried at the palace? I thought only royals were buried at the palace. Um, to be honest, this is my symbol. Adrian, your symbol's a crown. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Shh, don't speak too loud. I'll tell you later, but for now, let's find a safe place. Your symbol only showed when you turned 17, right? My symbol was there my whole life because my dad was king. Oh, so you're the son of the previous king. You're a prince then. Yes, the current king has an upside down crown, just like so you. So he was the one who killed your dad? Yes, he killed him the day he found out by his symbol. He killed my mom too because she refused to be his wife. But how come none of this is in the news? Yes, because things like this are common in the palace. Seize the throne, share the wife. Wow, all this time I thought royals had the perfect life. But wait, why does this symbol even exist? If the upside down crown didn't exist, the world would have been much safer and no one would fight over the throne. Okay, I've decided to take the king's throne. Are you sure? Yes, and besides, I don't even want the throne like that. I just don't want to die. You're the one who said I have three days. Yes, that's right. Okay, if that's the case, I'll show you the secret passage to the palace without the gods seeing you. Oh yeah, here's a weapon for you. It's poison. Why did you give me this? Oh, so that you can... Mom, what are these planets on top of my head? You can choose where to live. Jupiter will be our new planet, so please choose Jupiter. What's wrong with Mars? I'm just going to choose Mars. Okay. Mom, I'm leaving. It's already late. Did you choose Jupiter? It's very important you choose Jupiter because... <sighs> yes, Mom. I chose Jupiter. That's good. When you're back, pack your stuff and get ready. We'll be moving to our new planet soon. I chose Jupiter. So did I. Hey, why is everyone going to Jupiter? Because scientists say that it's safe to live there and it's much bigger than Earth. There's much more space. What happens to the people who chose Mars? It's forbidden to choose Mars. But I chose it. Whoa, you guys who didn't choose Jupiter will regret it. What's wrong with Mars? Sir, can I ask you a question? Yes. Why does everyone choose Jupiter? Why not another planet? Because Jupiter's more suitable for humans, according to the scientists. Are you a scientist? No, I'm just a researcher. <sighs> Only a few seconds left and I'm all alone. Wait, you're not alone. I also chose Mars. Actually, we're both safe because Mars is... Okay, you ready? Yes. <sighs> Why does it say error? We have to find a black box. Black box? What black box? I don't know, but without it, I don't think we can enter Jupiter. Where should I look? I don't even know what's on this planet. Calm down, I'll help you. Just give us a clue. Huh? What does this clue mean? What clue? Green grass? Let's look for it. Have you found it yet? No, it turns out Mars isn't how I imagined it to be. It's not similar to Earth at all. Don't give up, we'll find it eventually. Where even are we? Let's try to find it on Google Maps. Google Maps? Really? Is there even internet here? It's worth a try. Yep, you're right. No signal. What are we going to do? We've been walking around for two hours. Wait, isn't that green grass? I can see the box. Let's get it. Hurry. <sighs> Why is there a wall? What's going on? Why can't I get in? Solve the word puzzles? If we want to enter, we have to solve the word puzzles. I mean, it's only three letters. How hard could it be? Okay, um, let's try O. Yes, it's right. Do you have any guesses? Try E. Okay, E. That's wrong. L, Y, U. How many mistakes can I make before I get a consequence? 
I have to be careful. Okay, my next guest is... Let's just break up. But why, babe? Because I'm a guy. I started this relationship, so I can end it too. You can't really dump me because you're just a girl. No. Amara, you chose to be a girl, right? No, I chose to be a boy. What? Why would you do that? The guy's the one who starts and ends relationships, right? Not all guys are like that. Didn't I tell you that David isn't good for you? Whatever, you'll never understand. Basically, I had to be a guy who's taller than my ex because he's pretty short. So, I chose to be tall. Look at Amara. She was dumped by the most handsome guy in school. David, right? He's so handsome. Are you sure he's the most handsome guy here? Yes, look around. Is there any other guy prettier than him? There will be. Be a CEO or be a mafia leader. Must be fun being in a mafia. Guys, let's have lunch together. You're David's ex. We were only friends with you because you were dating the popular guy. I'm going to be his girlfriend soon. What? <sighs> Let the game begin.